Hey, what's up, galera? Beleza? It's Renato Isidio from Brazil. So I'm gonna uh, show you how to create uh, specific or custom transitions for OBS using you know, like chroma keys, videos, and green screen videos. So first of all, you need to have uh, videos with chroma key. You know, like there's a video, there's something or a person and the background is green or black and you know, all the other color you you choose so you have to have this video or this uh, file in your hands so in order to do that I'm gonna show you what I did here first of all so this is my OBS and this is the my starting uh, scene and I'm gonna change it to the live scene so do you see there's a you know like this great transition here this is a name transition so this is my uh, live scene so I have view count here an event list here uh, my face here which is not appearing a chat box an alert box here and a cam link which is my video you know like in the background so this is my live scene if I change this live scene to like be right back you see this transition here did you see there's a little Mario come coming in front and in the background so how did I do that first of all I got this video with a green screen I'm gonna change it here to the Premiere Adobe Premiere one second if you see the Adobe Premiere here I have this video here that I've imported Mario with the green screen I, I just created a, a new uh, project which is which is untitled and then um, let me play here click twice here and just play it here so Mario is running so I just grab this uh, video here and put it into V1 and just uh, I don't want to change the aspect size so keep existing you know like okay so we have here our little Mario running so in order to let me see here in order to make it you know like this as chroma key we have to uh, search for the effects panel here ultra key if we type here ultra it will show you here ultra key and then you just grab this effect here and put it over here the uh, you know like this this thing here and just double click uh, here and then it's gonna show this panel here click here and go to effect control and if you go down here you'll find the ultra key effect that we have just applied to this part of the video and just choose this thing here and just click here so it's gonna be you know like transparent here you just have applied the chroma key so I'm gonna do a small uh, transition here let me just imagine that you wanna uh, the little Mario uh, cover all these the the, the the image and then uh, going in the the back like I did before so I'm gonna have to scale it here like here uh, going to scale it so in order to cover all the screen here I think that's fine here so I'm gonna grab it it here to go like left I think that's great and I'm gonna create a uh, uh, keyframe here and like here I'm gonna create another keyframe which the position will be on the right side and just grab this here to make it smaller and then I'm gonna play it here so that's our transition so I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna make it appear you know like in the background I'm gonna click here just copy and paste no sorry copy and then here paste all right just put it here that's this is the, the exact copy of the the other scene you know, like the another Mario I'm gonna double click here go here and effect control again let me just clear this uh, this keyframes here all right one second okay great so we wanna the Mario goes you know like the background the it's gonna be a small Mario let me go again to effect control uh, 
let me see where is Mario. Let me just pull here. No, other side. Okay, here. Let me just scale it down. Like this size is good. All right. I'm just grab it here and put it in like here in the upper corner. All right, let me just grab this thing like here. So it's gonna be the upper corner here in the first frame here, all right? So in the last frame like here is gonna be on the other side. I'm gonna create this keyframe here and just grab it in like here. All right, so let's start it over and play here it's gonna be big and then a teeny one all right so we just create our uh, transition here i'm gonna export this as a media you have to uh, see here that the format is quick time to do that in order to do that i'm gonna choose another uh, output name like i'm gonna um, call it um, let me see Isidio, all right, Isidio.mov, because there is another Mario mob there, all right. I'm going to call it Isidio.mov here, the desktop. All right, ah, oh, another thing that I was forgetting. Uh, QuickTime, you have to, to make sure it's QuickTime here in video animation. And here, down below here, make sure it's, you know, it's full frame, you like 1024 width. And uh, here you have to choose, you know, 8 BPC plus alpha, all right, and export it, okay? So let's close this and let's go back to OBS. One second, all right, we are here back to OBS. So, how did I uh, create this uh, custom transition? So, uh, let me just go back here to Startson and click here, Edit in Transition. So, in order to create a custom transition, I just click here, Add Transition, choose here in Type Stinger, create a name that is going to be Isidio, all right? The duration 300, okay? The video file will be that Isidio. Where is the Isidio.mob that I just created? Let me just save it again. One second. <coughs> Let me export it again. Maybe it didn't work. One second. Let me export it again. All right. I've just came back to Premiere and exported it again. So I was here, you know, like, I don't know if you can see it. Oh, you can see it here. All right, let me show. Let me show the screen here that I've just created. You didn't see it because I I, I didn't map this. Let me just map it here. One second. All right, that's what I, I was doing. You know, like you didn't see, but I just click it there and just uh, uh, to create a new transition and then I add transition and just uh, choose uh, uh, e video as the name. So uh, I've just to type Stinger, duration 300. And the video file, I'm gonna choose the e video mod that I created before. The time in milliseconds, I'm gonna uh, keep it here. I'm just choosing done and done again. All right, so let me just uh, make it um, okay. Let's go back to OBS. Then we just we have just create our transition. Uh, but uh, I was just forgetting something, which is to you know like it's not the default transition. Let me go back there. And make the default tr transition. One second. Okay. 
So it's not showing you. Yeah, that's it. So uh, in order to make this transition available, you have to ma or make it the default. Just click here to make it default, or you just here go here and in connection, and then add a connection to make you know like a sp uh, custom uh, transition from one scene to another one. So I have some scenes here. So I want to if I ch go from uh, live scene Alex to live scene uh, Pete. I'm gonna make our transition, you know, like I'm gonna choose this transition that I've just we have just created. I click it here, okay, and just click it and done. Let me go back to the OBS. Okay, all right. So we are here. If I click, uh, if I go from starting soon to live scene, it will present this, you know, like transition. If I go to live scene again. So if I go from live scene uh, Alex for, to live scene beat, we'll show our transition, our little Mario. See, that's our transition. This is how you make your transition, custom transition using your like chroma keys and green screen videos. All right, I hope you have enjoyed. Please subscribe and please uh, click and like if you like it. Um, regards from Brazil. Uh, I'll see you later. Thank you.